What it is though, my people in these YouTube streets, it is your boy CJ the Taurus, back again with another episode of Tech Circuits. And today, we're going to be looking at the Microsoft Surface Laptop Go. And I'm doing a spre a special. <laughs> I'm doing a special presentation for this because uh, this is for actually for my wife um, and we are getting ready to start making some moves here. We've been sharing uh, a Surface Pro 3 for a while. So, you know, she she had been saying that she wanted her own laptop for a while. And, um, you know, we were looking at the Surface Laptop 3. And honestly, it looked like a really good laptop. We were getting ready to spend at least $1,500 on that. And man, when I tell you right in the nick of time, Microsoft literally announces this bad boy right here, which is the Surface Laptop Go in all of its glory. This thing is amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and actually turn this around. I don't know know what you guys can see on here uh, but basically all it says on the back is the surface uh what, what's included in the box really so the surface uh laptop go is included in the box uh 10th gen intel core i5 processor uh 128 gigs of ram uh 8 gigs of uh go ram which i don't know what the difference between go ram and regular ram is but I guess I'll find out once I get, you know, get everything unboxed and uh, start messing with this computer full on. Um, I will be doing a review on this laptop a little bit later. Let you guys know how it holds up to, you know, day-to-day -day usage, battery life, all that good stuff. Uh, but without further ado, you guys are here to see this thing get unboxed. But first, we are going to start off with this smaller device here. Uh, this is the... Uh, mouse that comes with it uh, just to let you guys know what color this surface laptop go is it is the sandstone color uh, and also the mouse here is also the sandstone color um, I, I don't know why they don't have the actual color on the box but you know who knows we're gonna go ahead and start unboxing this stuff got this little tab thing here that you can pull off from the from the top and from the bottom you'll see there's like a little arrow hopefully I can get that in frame for you guys I'll just pull the arrow and this here sticker right here you got to pull that out before you can use it I'm pretty sure um, I know this thing most likely oh it's got some batteries in it um, hopefully that didn't blink in the camera and blind anybody um, down here at the bottom of the box for the mouse uh, you have it pretty much tells you uh, your instructions for the mouse so you want to make sure you go down there and read those because I did not and now the mouse is in pairing mode and I do not have the laptop on, which is okay. We're going to file that over to the side, guys. Now we're going to get into the big boy because I know this is what you've all been waiting for. Let's go ahead and put the mouse over here. Move all of this. All right, so we're going to move you front center stage here. Now, guys, um... This laptop is only gonna run you about $550. Like I was telling you guys earlier, uh, the laptop that we were looking at, the Surface Laptop 3, uh, which is still not a bad laptop at all, guys, by any means. So if you're watching this video, you know, do your own comparisons. That one is more of a premium build, uh, you know, kind of, you know, um, more bang for your buck, if you will. But this laptop here is powerful enough for what my wife will need it for um, 
and also you know it's got a fingerprint scanner it's got face recognition um it's touch screen uh it's, it's only 550 guys and i mean it's definitely i would say still competing with something like a mac um like a macbook uh like like one of the smaller macbooks if you will um but or, or one of the more entry-level macbooks this is definitely a huge competitor to to one of the more entry-level macbooks so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the box of the unboxing here now and the only reason i use just to let you guys know while i'm unboxing this thing here the only reason i use uh apple as um a reference there is because they are um when it comes to buying laptops and you want to get, you know, productivity, uh, of course, if you're in the ballpark of around $500, you're definitely not looking at a MacBook. Um, but if you are, you know, somebody who is just looking for the next thing that they want to use um, and, you know, be able to spend less money, you're definitely going to want to go with something like this. The Surface Laptop Go um, is definitely an extremely good buy. So this is this is the one. Put this over here. Take that off. Okay, I'm not gonna do that to y'all. <laughs> So we have a tab here. You just pull up on this tab. Wow. I really like the presentation. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm loving that presentation. Very nice. Let's see what else we have in the box. I'm gonna set this down here. Let's see what else we have in the box. So we have This feels like it's the AC adapter. Yep, it is the power adapter for the Surface Laptop Go. And um, hopefully you guys, you guys can see that. This is what the components look like. Okay, um, this connector here is the same connector as what they normally use on a surface. Hopefully you guys can see that. We'll draw that over here. Um, then you've got this little thing here. It was kind of in the middle of the box. Uh, let's see. So it's kind of some surface laptop go information here. Um, just a little booklet. I guess to let you know, you know, warnings and all that good stuff, you know, how to keep your battery life, all that stuff. People never read this stuff. Um, and I think people should because then their devices will last longer. As a matter of fact, I'm getting ready to do a uh, headphone etiquette video for you guys. So you guys are definitely going to want to check that out. Uh, I'm going to link that to this video. So once that drops, you guys will be able to watch this video or if you're watching this video you can click right to that headphone etiquette video and it's basically where i'm going to show you how to uh let your wireless earbuds because i'm pretty sure everybody or most people have wireless earbuds by now so uh you guys want to know how to keep those ba that battery life going for a long time and also some headphones start to uh you know wear over time so want to teach you guys how to kind of keep those clean and keep those in order as well so it's gonna be fun guys um it looks like we are at the bottom of the box now i am very thorough so we're just gonna lift that up just to make sure yeah yeah this is the surface laptop go guys let's go ahead and take the sleeve off we definitely want to take this sleeve off Oh, okay. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna put this down. We're gonna put this down. Be 
because it looks like I'm really trying not to. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Oh wow, as soon as I opened it up. As soon as I opened it up, it, it turned on. That was impressive. I really like that. That's a nice touch, Microsoft. So, as you guys can see, um, the laptop is already booting up for the first time that we're opening it which is really cool. So straight out of the box, as soon as you open up the laptop, it will turn on. Um, I think that's very impressive actually. So of course we're gonna go through the, we're gonna fly through the setup process and all of that good stuff. Um, we're not gonna actually use this right now. Uh, I'm going to of course do a full review on this laptop a little bit later. I have to say though guys, from what I'm seeing so far, this thing looks absolutely stunning, especially for the cost that it is. It feels very premium in the hand. Um, you know, it, it, it looks like it will be a fingerprint magnet. So um, I will definitely have to get, um, you know, some type of uh, maybe skin or something like that for her, um, or maybe a case, a carrying case or something that will kind of you know get rid of some of the fingerprint prints when it slides in and out of the case who knows uh we will figure that out a little bit later but as you guys can see this thing uh is it's it's beautiful it's definitely um four or five hundred and fifty dollar laptop it's definitely gonna turn some heads uh people will think that you have actually a more expensive laptop than you really do to be honest guys this thing is very nice so you have the charging uh port over here on the other side you have the usb a and usb c ports um and then down here at the bottom you have these like rubberized grip things along the bottom uh just showing you guys that a couple of times just so you'll see you know exactly what you're getting here but this thing is i'm telling you guys this thing is the the bottom weight of the laptop is actually very impressive um, because I can actually lift I can actually lift this very easily here with one hand I was gonna hold it I, I had you know a slight um, habitual you know trying to hold something down as you're opening it but honestly the hinge feels very nice on it uh, the the um, way that the weight of the bottom of the laptop is there for you to open it easier is very nice as well. Um, the keyboard feels very, very... Wow, the keyboard feels really good. Um, this thing feels very premium for a $550 uh, laptop, guys. So, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys tell me what you think about this laptop down in the comment section below um, and on the next one we will go ahead and talk about and review this laptop and see you know what are the pros what are the cons but so far i am really liking this laptop even the the um, front facing camera on the laptop is very small very sleek it's uh, this thing looks awesome so i can't wait to get into that review guys catch you guys in the next one peace